All right, so now it's going to so would you like to save your progress? I think means there's going to be a lot of cutscenes here. It's an out and out massacre. Most people won't even live long enough to die on Pulse. That was the idea. What? Sanctum logic. They conjured up the purge to eliminate a threat. I mean, why carry the danger all the way to Pulse? Why not just stamp it out here? Execution, masquerading as exile. That's all the Purge ever was. <sighs> Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap like that? And you, you knew this was gonna happen? The Purge was Psycom. Private Sanctum troops, not the Guardian Corps. Psycom? Guardian Corps. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? Pulse Fal C and Nella C are enemies of the state. Tell a soldier to kill an enemy, and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? Might have mattered to that one. Couldn't shoot. Got himself shot instead. How about you? Hmm? Or to say shoot? You pull the trigger? Fine. Forget I asked. Wait. What? Alright, here we go with another battle. Like, see what I mean here? Like, you have to, this guy has to get staggered. Like, there's no other way around it. There we go. Potion. Boom, boom. Here's what we know so far. Basically, pretty much, there's a purge that the government set up, um, and they're deporting them. And we don't really know what's going on, like what's going to happen to them. But um, basically, they're trying to resist and fight back against the government. That's ba that's pretty much the gist of it here. Sarah. what you were looking for. Yeah. Right in there. The post file C.
too much, isn't it? <laughs> Face it later. Uh. Ciao! <laughs> hey, wait! You said it made you happy when I smiled, didn't you? But really, I was afraid. <laughs> There's a lot of similarities to other Final Fantasy games and this this narration is kind of like Final Fantasy X a little bit very similar to how Titus told the story you know you have his little you see what's going on and you, know, you see the event going on and then you have a little quote so, how do you, figure that you know like a flashback quote <laughs> all things being equal I just assume keep on time to jump yeah I know Hey! 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 Hang on! What the? Hey! Yeah, Sash is like, I'm not jumping. Damn. She can do it. So can we. weird we never really see how snow survived that like everybody else fell but i guess i don't know what about the others they didn't die they couldn't have died of course not hey get a grip man what's wrong with you Get him home. Get who home? Toss me that. Catch. What are you doing? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to be the hero. She's waiting there, ain't she? Your lovely bride to be? Isn't it about time you picked her up? Yeah. Hold on, you just see that item box floating, floating there. <laughs> There's our ride. <laughs> Now you're talking. Oh, good. All right, there are these exclamation points. Yeah, and there, and it also gives all the terms of this game, like the falsy, falsy or existence beyond human comprehension possessed. Incredible magic power, the ones responsible for construction, protection of humanity, but there are others of their kind as well. The false sea who dwell on pulse and name themselves enemies of Cocoon. Humans who encounter pulse false sea are cursed being turned to the sea in order to destroy Cocoon. It's for this reason that most ordinary citizens support the purge. Anyone who may have come into contact with one of these foul sea represents a dire threat. But basically, everybody in that's being deported um, came in contact with the foul sea. And basically, so now, and you'll find out a little bit later why, why they're getting turned into Lassie and and whatnot. So, Dang. I hope everyone's all right. Stand in there. Power circle. So we got an upgraded weapon for snow. 
weird. You never see that. You never see upgraded weapons like this early in the game. Fighting on. Boom, boom. Another cool thing with the with your battle meter, you can, you know, like once one bar fills up, you can just do that one attack, and it helps at times because, um, you know, if you see somebody's stagger meter, um, you know, get it, get about to run out, like just attack it, you know, that way, you know, it doesn't run out, and you know. Hundred gill. We got four hundred gill now. <laughs> I want every weapon ready to fire. Stay sharp. All right, on my go. Right. That's a sad sound. Where's the soul? Okay. Hey, Godot. Yeah? If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? <laughs> Something on your mind? You got plenty of time for thinking on the way, hero. <laughs> I think it's important that they're emphasizing hero in this, you know, opening chapter with Snow. I think it's his ultimate goal is he wants to be a hero, and I think there's Ready! there's many definitions of a hero. Um, yeah, you know, some people think that a hero is just simply the one who saves the day. You know, others think that a hero is defined by their characteristics and whatnot, and you know, you'll you'll kind of see Snow has kind of a you know very big development in this game when it comes to the term hero. Hey! Huh? Well, hey! It's us! It's us! <laughs> Don't shoot! Snow! <laughs> uh huh. Since when do you care about kids? Favor for a friend. Okay. Hey, Snow! You made it! Hey, yo. <laughs> so, hey. you really managed to use that thing? <laughs> I think I'm done. You're done when we are. Ow! What? <laughs> That's the one. Didn't you have something to tell him? 
Yeah. All right then. But I. I'll go with you. What? Oh, you have no idea what it was like. Oh. Everyone's safe. <laughs> The, the army's, army's no, no match, match for Nora. Nora. I meant the kids. <laughs> well, uh, all accounted for. Okay. Let's keep it that way, all right? Swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. You got it. Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> you go skirt chasing, I take care of the kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on me. Better be home cooking. When's the wedding, <laughs> lover boy? <laughs> well, don't worry, none of you are invited. We're still going. Hey, you serious? Weird, like they're in this kind of like this war basically. And Catch you later. they're like being so they're being so joking and literally just had a bunch of people die almost in part because of them because you know they they asked for all these people to volunteer and then basically all these people get killed Now we've got these two. We got um, Hope, who we saw basically his mom died, and then this other girl, Vanille. And we'll find out a little bit. Vanille's very interesting. Very Vanille's very very complex character. She's not one of my favorite characters of all time. I don't. Mu oh God! I thought I just broke the game. Hope, meh. Tell him. It's just that. Uh... Say, you know how to fly this? Yeah, I think so. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, In you go. Uh, 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 uh. That way. Uh, no, no. Huh? If we go in there, that thing could. It could make us Lassie. Uh, this is. I don't think I can. You can do it. Uh, what are you two doing? Uh, here we go. Uh, uh oh. It held our future and our fate. Right, save it. Here we'll get a bunch of cutscenes. It's just us. What did you expect? Uh.
Even soldiers know not to go near the foul sea. You become a pulseless sea, and you're finished. What do you mean, finished? Haven't you heard, Miss... Vanille. Huh? My name. And yours? Hope. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> what were we thinking? Well, since we're here... Let's look around! Uh... Pulse Foul Sea. Oh, check this out! Hey! <laughs> Vanille, where are you? Though it's weird is Vanille's like, she looks like the one that has like the least amount of battle experience. Yeah, she's got three, three bars. Actually, in chapter two now. So maybe it's best to kind of go through this to explain the gist of the story. Um, so you got Pulse, which is um, kind of like another oh God. Well, let's just read. Resting Cocoon Shadow, the sprawling and enigmatic lower world of Pulse. Home to a multitude of terrors. The land is commonly believed to be inhospitable, inhospita inhospitable human life, and a strict ban on inner world travel forbids citizens of him from venturing there to challenge the hypothesis. Not even members of the Sanctum's upper echelon can claim to have seen the surface with their own eyes, but the attempted invasion by the world's savage armies several centuries ago is well documented. Widespread fear for repeated assault persists among the populace even today, with uh, colloquial references often like likening the world to a manner of living hell. And then you got Pulse Falsy. Falsy are in existence beyond human comprehension. Possessed by incredible magic power, the ones responsible for human construction are protectors of humanity, but there are others of their kind as well. The Falsy who dwell in Pulse and name themselves enemies of and humans who encounter Pulse Falsy are cursed, being turned into Turn to the sea in order to destroy Cocoon. It's for this reason that most ordinary citizens support the purge. Anyone who may have come into contact with one of those foul sea represents a dire threat. And then Pulse Lissi, uh, the beings known as foul sea, possess the power to enthrall unwilling human instruments, compelling the victims to serve their will. These individuals known as Lissi are marked with in indelible, indelible brands. They gain the gift of magic, but also bear the burden of completing a task known as a focus for their foul sea master. Pulse the Sea tools of Foul Sea from the world below are considered dangerous enemies of Cocoon society, as there exists no means of removing the Le Sea brand and the curse thereby imposed. Pulse the Sea are hunted relentlessly. So, basically, Pulse is another world. Um, 
And from there, you've got the fallacy that have come you here sure that, away? you know, are branding humans to basically to do as they want. And you'll see people with these br these marks on them, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so you know, basically, they're the ones that get purged. Because now, once you get marked, um, you're, you're now an enemy of Cocoon because you're serving... Um, a foul C. So that's kind of what the purge is about. Um, so. It sucks. In these battles here early on, there's no points. Like, I'm not going to level up anymore. Um, because they haven't even introduced the system yet to level up, which is so stupid. Um, but we got an item over there, so I'll take that. It should be a sneak attack. Yep, and preemptive strikes, what's cool with them is they're all pretty much close to being staggered. Sorry. Um, plus, I think their health is a little bit down as well, so if you're able to uh, sneak up on enemies, it's the biggest advantage you can get. Please don't go looking for trouble. Oh man. Nothing over here. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically, like we said, you can you can sneak upon enemies, and which we don't do here. These are quick battles. I kind of like... Sometimes I like the battle duration, like the fact that they show you that. Sometimes though... Hey, there's some bosses. I, I I think I've taken like 15 minutes sometimes to beat a boss in this game. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I just spent that much time. Mm, not so much. You really don't get it. Pulse Falsy and Lissy are bad news. That's why Cocoon kicked them out. Live too close to the Falsy, one-way ticket to Pulse. 
That's the purge in a nutshell. If they catch us here, there you go. They'll purge us too. And What's then What's your problem? What's my pulse is hell on earth. Mm. <sighs> pulse is another plan. I take that back. I'm thinking of something a little some different later on, but get off me. Jeez. Hope's got this cute girl all over him, and he's just being... And I get it, his mom died, but... Don't worry, Sarah. Your hero is on his way. That's for all right. So now we switch back to snow. Snow is pretty much like the one person we kind of know his objective, and, and that's to rescue his fiance Sarah. Um, you know, we pretty much have three different stories going on, but he's the one like we definitely know right now. Hope, I mean, we know he's trying to find Snow. Hope's trying to find Snow. I think it's pretty much be like, thanks for having my mom killed. Um, but we don't know, we don't really know Vanille's story, other than she was part of those being deported. Um, Sash and Lightning, it sounds like they're here to stop the government, but we don't really know a whole lot about their story. Yep, uh, had to sneak up on him, but Bring it on! this is gonna be tough ha having only one character at this point. Of course, as soon as we stagger him, he's dead. Still a quick battle. Nothing there. Nothing there. Just hold on. Sir. Yeah, when this game came out, I was so I I was so pumped for it. I even went I even pre ordered the the collector's edition strategy guide, which was is actually a really nice coffee table hardcover book. Um not the best strategy guide in the world, like you know, I didn't really learn a whole lot from it, but um, it was pretty cool though. It was really nice. It was like 30 bucks, I think. I might have gotten a discount for pre-ordering the game, but I still have it. Still have it. And it's just nice and sleek and yeah, it, it was pretty. It's pretty cool. Why didn't I listen? Uh, beg your pardon? It was me. This is my fault. Beg your pardon? Cover your ears. Huh? Oh, oh last charge? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold, hold, hold. All right, go for it! Make it happen! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please let me in. Please. What the? Hey. Right. What? How'd 
you open it? I don't know. After you. Shroud. Shrouds are a special single use arrow souls that can only be used outside of battle and create the party tactical advantages. For for a soul and Agasol bestow their bonuses at the start of battle. Septisol, on the other hand, shields the party from enemy detection, eliminating uh enemies like Panther uh Pantherans who's uh oh, songs. But oh, you will have no trouble getting them. Alright, we're not going to do that. Um, because those things are so much more valuable later in the game. And these battles are easy enough. I'm not going to waste my items. The first half of this game is incredibly easy. Like, just as a forewarning. The first half of this game is so easy. The second half, there are definitely some tough battles, and there's going to be some tough random encounters and things like that. Um, but... Staggered. I should do it here. Damn. Ooh, we got a bunch of people here. Can we sneak uh, an attack on them? Yeah, we can. Let's do this. Boom. Nice. Phoenix down. It's tough to have a Phoenix down. So we're back to that Final Fantasy XII lingo. Boom. I think these things are even tough, but. Boom. What was that? Two seconds? Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, oh, mm, oh, no treasure. That sucks. Potion. There we go. 
Boom. I can't say the same later on in the game, but the flow of this game early on is very nice. Like, I don't feel like I'm just doing a bunch of nothing. I mean, some of these battles, yes, I would love to have experience and make these battles actually worth something, but, um, I think there's a little bit of a reason, um, why you're not getting experience. You know, it has to do with the battle system, or the leveling up system that, you know, you'll see in a, in a little bit. Um... Alright, upgrade a weapon for lightning, which will help. I do like there's no there is no consequence for using items like it's not going to take up your battle meter or whatever jeez should be fine oh Sash died whoops Oh no, he's not going to experience this battle. Death machine. If those things are still around, might be some soldiers trapped in here too. Except they'd probably be Lassie by now. Huh? Not even human anymore. Just post Lassie. Enemies of Cocoon. Can't show them any mercy. There's the next one. All right. Components. I'm trying to... I think you need that to upgrade stuff. Oh, 13 days. That's really... So that's the 13 days leading up to the Purge. These are really cool entries. Um, you'll see some cutscenes for them. Um, you'll unlock some stuff later on the, uh, in the game. The entries and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. I mean, they, I think they focus, I don't want to say they focus so much on in-story stuff in this game. They definitely focused on backstory. Potions. Nope. I knew there was no... Whenever they stand like that, like, waiting on somebody, you're not going to preempt them. Yeah, and it's cool how, like, the hand grenades, like, in this game, they'll... They'll pause the enemies, basically. Like, you know, obviously they kind of went up. Boom! Oh, 
All right. Hang on, baby. Your hero's on the way. He is here, calling himself a hero. He's coming our way. Well, what should I do? Tell him what you need to. Hope is like Titus. I say will change what happened. And Snow is jacked. We could just run away. What would you tell Jack? I don't even need to preempt these guys. These guys are so easy. That's all she wrote. Wow, four to soul. Oh, look at these guys. Save it. Can we take it a little slower? No day now. Some of the way this game plays out, like the the your like your objectives and stuff like that. It almost feels like Final Fantasy X. Do you remember up until um, after Xander came, you were pretty much on the straightforward path. Like you need to go here, here. You're gonna go here next. You're gonna go here, and there's really no backtracking. You you could um, sometimes, but well, you know, it was really never even worth it. And sometimes, like I said, you couldn't. You know, you would need it. You know, you know, like. I don't think there was a way to get back to the Sade until very later on in the game. And, you know, it's, um, it's kind of how this game is. Like, you need to go here and you're not coming back. Uh-oh. 
What are they? See her. The scene uh, failed. Uh, this is what happens when the sea don't complete the focus the foul sea gave them. Huh? Let's even these odds. All right, so now we get snow. These guys are actually a little tough, but nothing we can't handle. How did you get in here? You've got to leave. Okay, listen. Find some place to hide and keep quiet. Once I find Sarah, we'll all leave together. Uh, <laughs> You'll be home in time for dinner. <laughs> you... Wait! Who's Sarah? My wife. Future wife, that is. She's a pulse, let see. No. She's here somewhere, along with that foul sea. I gotta find her and set her free. What's wrong with you? Why do you want to help a sea? They're the enemy. Huh? How can you save a sea? You're not. You're not. That's insane. <laughs> Probably. But I gotta do something, right? I'll be back. Uh, should we wait around for him? And hit a ride? I'd rather go to Pulse! Why is this happening to me? When they found the foul sea the other day, we were just visiting Bodum. Mm. But the army took us, threw us on that train. And because of that guy, Mom is... Probably shouldn't leave them alone. And he wants to help with the sea? Hey again. Hey. Let's go with him. You gotta talk to him, Hope. If you don't take this chance, you regret it forever. Okay. Okay. Let's go. What's gotten into you, soldier? Thought you came for a fight. My sister. Your sister? She's a Lassie. What? A Pulse Lassie? The Falci has her captive, but I'll find her. Uh, is she still... Hey, what was her focus? When she became a Lassie, what did the Falci order her to do? It wasn't blow up cocoon or anything like that, was it? I didn't ask. <gasps> Listen to me. When a person gets cursed by a foul sea, they become a lassie, and they get given a focus, right? How do I put this? If they don't carry it out, Lucy end up as one of those things. What I'm saying is, if your sister's gone that far, I mean, she might still. How, how can I? Oh man. He's he's definitely like he no way he knows what he wants to say, but he's not trying to piss her off. Even if she completes her focus. There's no change in her fate. She'll live a life as a foul sea slave. <sighs> Don't make her suffer. Just say it! Any Lassie, anyone who might ever become a Lassie should be wiped off the face of Cocoon.
it's people like you that started the purge in the first place. Very, very interesting. Like when you really think about it, like what's what the right thing to do and stuff like that is, and that's it's so much like, I mean, it's just like the pilgrimage, you know. What's uh, you know, what's the right thing to do? Is it you know, should should somebody sacrifice themselves to save millions, or you know, because somebody's label labeled a uh, uh, you know, let's see, you know, does that mean it's it for them? Like, you know. Pretty interesting. Uh, any item over there? No. These things are so easy to sneak up on. Um. All right, I'll take these guys out. I don't think there's yeah, there's no items or anything like that. I mean, uh, I was hoping it would stage all three of those ghouls together. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, I'll skip them. If we were getting experience, I wouldn't skip them, but whatever. Alright, let's take on this gas. Yeah, I definitely need to stagger it. Goosefaced, no, not my first time playing, um, I played this a while back, uh, second time playing it. Skip these guys. Oh crap. Uh I don't want to use the Phoenix down. That's just me not paying attention.
should do it. Boom. Oh no, we didn't get five stars there. Hey, Gooseface, thank you for the follow, man. Much appreciation. Sarah. Oh, this is interesting because so we find out here lightning. So Sarah's lightning sister. That's a pulse brand. Same Sarah that I Snow's going see. after. I already told you that. Pulseless Sea are the enemies of Cocoon. Oh God, don't be like this, Sasha. So they should die. Listen, if she fails her focus, you know how that'll end. And killing her is a mercy. You came. Sarah. Let's get you out of here. Hands off. I'm taking her home. Sis. I'm, I'm not your sister. You couldn't protect her. It's your fault. She can save us. Sarah? You can save us. Or protect us all. Save Cocoon. Save Cocoon? Sarah? That was your focus? Anything. I'll do anything. Leave it to me. You'll see. I'll protect Cocoon. I'll save everyone. Somehow. I'll make things right. You just relax. Thank you. Oh. Sarah! I'm not crying, you're crying. She's alive. No. The legend. Remember the legend. The sea who fulfilled their focus turned to crystal and gained eternal life. It's the same with Sarah. Eternal life. She's not dead. Sarah's I mean, me. I promise to be hers forever. I don't care how many years I have to wait. <clears throat> Damn. It's over. Open your eyes and face reality. Sarah, does becoming a Lassie really mean losing everything?
Again, love the cutscenes. The series delivers on cutscenes. In that very moment, Vanille's like, why did I befriend this kid? I'll be right back. Hold on. Trenchcoat, where are you going? Day with the foul sea. Got some things to talk about. What? You gonna ask it to help her? Are you out of your mind, kid? That thing wants to chew us up and spit us out. Well, what do you want me to do? Uh, what? what? Uh, lightning? Here we go. All right. Not fighting that. Not fighting that. We'll save it. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it. You got what you want. Yeah, now she's now a crystal. Go! This feels really weird talking to a machine. That doesn't even look powered on. Please, turn her back. I'll be your listening instead. Fine. You go on begging. Like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! It's this thing's fault the purge started. And it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die. <laughs> Uh oh. Think you can kill a Fauci? I'm doing this for Sarah. <laughs> yep, final battle right here. If we win, the game's over. I'm in. As long as you don't mind an amateur. I got these things. Might as well use them. Thanks.
Alright, let's take out these arms. Seems easy enough. Mitchell, thank you for the follow. Much love, much appreciation. Oh man, this battle. It does get better though. Once we get magic and stuff, these battles do get more entertaining. Crap, 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 use the potion. Let's take out these arms again. Really? All right, come on. Beat this thing. I almost got it. I almost got it. Boom. Don't do them. Shit's hitting the fam. Close my eyes and lose myself in happier days. <laughs> 